nice view. Yeah? Mm. See the conductor well from there? <laughs> oh, we don't want that. Small detail. Just take the contacts yeah, out. Yeah, fine. Okay. This morning we started the day with a technical call with Andrew Bidlack and Marcus Farnsworth who are playing Ball and uh, Lewis and the idea was we needed to tech their entrance into what we call the sap which is the jutting out part of the trench which is where John Ball goes on watch on his first night. We've got a really big piece of scenery almost like a front piece and there's a tunnel in it and two of our singers have to climb through that tunnel so we were just doing it dry and quietly with them to make sure that it's all safe. And we hadn't seen the sap cloth before that's the first time we saw that today and you know we're lucky as well we've seen some of the lighting on it and it's, it's going to look stunning it's going to look really fantastic. Yep. Although we're really lucky here at WNO that we've got our rehearsal studios and we can quite often fit most of the set elements in, this is the first time that we've actually had the full set on stage. When this flies in, there's guys lying all over this floor. They're dead. The footprint that I gave them in the rehearsal room is a bit smaller and slightly off what we have, we've got here. It's a bit wider, this, so um, just give them an idea of where they need to stay out of. A lot of us that have been in the rehearsal room for four weeks could have quite happily have gone on to stage about two weeks ago, so it's going to be fun seeing what it looks like with everyone in their costumes. Now we two have slimed our dark bright coat. Today is the first day of stage and piano rehearsals, so that's the first day of stage rehearsals. We've been lighting. And yeah, we're getting ready for the chorus and the cast to join us on the set for the first time. We've got General Jonathan Riley from the Royal Welsh Fusiliers coming to drill the gents chorus on their parade drill. We had him in rehearsals and that was fantastic and he's coming back again to impart his knowledge and scare everybody a little bit. <laughs> it's really exciting, there's a whole kind of change in dynamic, change of energy when you leave the rehearsal room and you come into the theatre, you know, everything feels suddenly very near, very, you know, it's, it's all very immediate. The show is very direct and very easy to connect with and hopefully it will engage a lot of people who might not necessarily come to the opera. And it's really exciting as a librettist to, to see the realisation of all these years' work suddenly coming to fruition and we're, you know, we're going to see it on stage for the first time.